Before we start the reading lesson that I have for you today, I just want to remind you that we're going to write an essay at 12 o'clock, okay? So the 12 o'clock class is for writing. It's the last essay before the exam on Sunday. You're ready for that, aren't you? Okay. I'm really very proud that two out of the top five on the first exam were in this class. I'm really proud, and I expect you to do very well on Sunday. I'm sure you will. And we will spend tomorrow um, working on the essay that you write today. So I will be giving you feedback all day. So in the first two hours, I will give the class a reading task, and then I can sit with you individually and talk about the essay you write today. So you will get the feedback tomorrow before the Sunday exam. OK? Right. Let's start our reading lesson. I chose an article on science. Why? Why do you think I did that? Why? Because Karim asked for it. He wants to read about science. And because when I asked you to bring me articles about science, remember, they were like, they didn't look so interesting, really. You know, one of them was about bones in space and the other one about cells in space. The only interesting one, and we will be working on it next week, Yusuf, is the multiple intelligences that you gave me. So today we're going to read a scientific article which I hope you will like. Yesterday I asked you to research or look up the meanings of two terms. Do you remember what they were? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, gene mapping and discrimination. So the first thing I want you to do now, please, is to bring out this paper where you wrote down the definition. And all you will need today is that paper and a pencil. You have it, Yara? OK. You're only two, but they're coming. No, Marwa. Marwa, you're with them. So could you please move to the next chair? OK. Now, this is what I want you to do first. I'm going to give you this transparency, and I'm going to give you a pen. And on this transparency, in your group, I want you to put your definitions together and come up with the best definition for gene mapping, write it here, and the best definition for discrimination, and write it here, please. OK? So put your definitions together, come up with the best one that you would like to show the class. Now, it's up to you to choose the person who's going to write. And then please, Dina. And after you've written it, I will ask one person for the group to come and project it and show it to the class and read it out. OK? Yara? You're the red group. You may need to put this under the transparency. You can keep this and put it under the transparency. Yusuf, this is for your group. A pen. Did I give you a pen? Dina, this is for your group. And you're the green group. OK. It shouldn't take too long, really. About four or five minutes. Good morning, Rita. Uh, Rita and Laila, you're in, yes, you're with Islam and Ahmed and Fadi is with this group. Rita and Laila, we're, yes, bring out your definitions quickly, and Ahmed is writing one definition for the group. So see if you have anything to add. Excuse me. Before. Between. Between. No. No. So I found in the in the website uh, for between and comma. It depends on the sentence, Ahmed. What was the sentence? Mm -hmm. Can you show me the sentence, yes. and I'll explain to you why there was a comma there. 
But if you just want to say there is a difference between this and that, you wouldn't put a comma there. Was it this kind of sentence? Okay, show it to me. Okay, Yusuf, are you ready? Yes. Right. I will take the transparencies, please. Can I have yours? Because you had to stop writing. Fedi, can I have yours? Okay. Dina? Thank you. Yusuf? Who would like to start? Leila? Okay. Yours is the blue one. Okay. We'll switch on the OHP and you'll just read your definition. Yusuf? Are you done? Yes, we're done. Okay. We'll just wait for Nirvana to give us a rest. Can I put this book No, no, no. But so that we all listen. Thank you. Okay. Read? Mm -hmm. Please read your definition. Definition of gene mapping it is a scientific process of matching or studying uh, genetics by chromosomes or uh, the determination uh, of the sequence of genes and their relative distance from one another on a specific chromosome. Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Discrimination? Uh, to treat someone unfairly because of their religion, race, or other personal features, or to recognize the difference between things. Thank you very much. Sorry. Yeah. You're next? Yes. So please come, Dina. Which one was yours? The, the green, green one. one. OK. Uh, the first definition is uh, gene mapping. We have the process of determining where specific genes are located on individual DNA. And the second uh, definition, yeah, I can make it more clear. Go ahead, please. Uh, like, uh, like, a, like a normal uh, map can distinguish between towns and, and cities. There is a, a map in the spinal cord which, uh, which yeah, uh, locate where the special genes uh, are. Uh, Thank uh, you, where Dina. Special genes are. This makes it very clear. Thank you very much. What about discrimination? Uh, discrimination, I have to make a clear distinction or to differentiate. And the other one is uh, treating one person unfairly over another according to factors unrelated to his ability or potential, uh, like sex or national origin. Thank you very much. Next, the red group. Fedi. Mapping can be defined as locating the position of genes in a chromosome. And a chromosome is a nucleus of a living thing that contains the DNA. The definition of discrimination, it's an unfavorable or unfair treatment of a person or class of persons in comparison to others who are not members of the protected class because of race, sex, color, religion, or national origin. Do you have any questions for Fadi? Thank you. Excellent. Next. like you have the same source. Yes. Excellent. Now, where did you look up the definitions of these two terms? Internet. Internet. All of you? Yeah. Dictionary? Did you find gene mapping in the dictionary? No. 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 OK. I must say, they're excellent. Now, I would like you please to think for a minute and to tell me, what is the link between gene mapping and discrimination? Do you see a link between them? What about gene mapping and discrimination or discrimination and gene mapping? What is the link? Uh, 
uh, I think uh, with gene mapping, you can, uh, by gene mapping, uh, know uh, how uh, the baby, for example, before he was born, he will look like and how, uh, how he, what, he, what his color, what, what will be his race. And, uh, and I think uh, that uh, it can be used in a, in a bad way. Some people, uh, it can, can be used in discrimination between the uh, okay. people. Also. Okay. Um, this is fine, Ahmed, but because the others are still thinking. Are you ready now? Did you hear what Ahmed said? No. Ahmed, please repeat what you said. I'm sorry, because the others were still thinking, but I think you're ready now. Have you found the link? You have something to tell me? Let's see. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, I said that uh, the gene mapping is uh, some way to uh, how to uh, uh, determine uh, the races or, or the, the color of the, for example, uh, of a baby before he is born or something. Okay, we have the definition now. Therefore, Therefore so what is the link? Uh, it can be used in an, uh, uh, any discrimination is also any somehow it's also somehow uh, a way uh, to different any it can be used in the discrimination if people uh, can differ between races and so on okay let's see what Islam wants to say yes Islam that, uh, discrimination can, can be uh, discriminating people okay does anyone else want to say yeah. Some, yes, okay. Uh, gene mapping can lead to discrimination because uh, uh, by using gene mapping, some people can, have, can acquire specific uh, skills or potentials or, uh, or characteristics. For example, my son, I can pay a doctor to make me very intelligent or my son make him very intelligent by using genetic engineering. Okay. To make you intelligent, okay, interesting. Do you want to say something in this group? Uh, there is a point yes, of discrimination. No, that's genetic discrimination. Okay, and what does genetic discrimination mean? Uh, different genes from different people, and because they are different, there is a it is possible to be discriminated. In what way? How? Because of uh, people are different. Yes. yes. So. For any color, for example. Okay. You're thinking of discrimination, which was one of the two meanings about seeing the differences, discriminating, seeing differences. There were two definitions for discrimination. Is this the one you're talking about, Fedi? Yes. Well, let's see. I help you. This is the title of the passage we're going to read. Can you see it? Yes. Gene mapping may. I want you to think of the word that should come in the blank discrimination. It is a word we took at the beginning of the semester. Dina is saying lead to. Think of a better word. Who's? Think of a better word beginning with F. Similar, Dina. Lead to is fine. There's another word and you've got a clue there. Can you count how many dashes there are? Six. It's a word that begins with F. Excellent. <laughs> Clap for Karim. Gene mapping may foster discrimination. So the next activity I want you to do in your group is this. You already gave me the definition of gene mapping and the definition of discrimination. I want you to think of gene mapping and write down all the words that come to your mind when you think of gene mapping. From the reading you did yesterday, from your background knowledge, from what you already know, any word that comes to your mind related to gene mapping, please write, OK? And then do the same thing with discrimination. But I will, only, I will only give you three to four minutes on this. All the words that come to your mind when you think of gene mapping, discrimination. Nirvana? Dina? You all got two points for the definitions. For these words, Nirvana, 
for these words, and please number them so that it's easier for me to count them. You will get one point for each word. If it's a really good word that we took this semester, and you feel you can include there, I will give you two points. If it's a phrase, if it's a verb with a noun or a noun that works with this verb, excellent. If it's a verb with a preposition, excellent. These are the words you will get two for. And company are ready. Are you ready? You get one point for each word, Dina. Can you think of more? No? Nirvana, are you ready? You are? Okay. Nirvana, please give it to me. Thank you. Dina? Can we add her? Oh, okay. Dina, do you want to keep it? No. Okay. Because Nirvana took it back to add a word. Yes, we are. We should. I, if you're ready. Okay, keep it. Enough? No, you're not supposed to, really. <laughs> it's about the words that come to your mind. That's no, okay. Thank you. Dina? Dina, we're going to start. Okay. Is this okay? Can we start with Dina's group? I was going to read them, Dina, just to move faster. Is this okay? Right. From, from the green group we have, under gene mapping, we have genes, nucleus, molecules, spinal cord, chromosomes, structure of genes. What is this, Dina? OK, and what's the verb? Determine. Determine. OK. Be careful, Dina. Location, DNA, nine words. Under discrimination, they have differentiate, discriminate against, excellent. You get two for this one. Why am I going to give them two for this one? <laughs> Distinction. <laughs> Distinction, racist, sex, origin, racism, humiliate. Humiliate, Dina? Yes. Okay. Prejudice, bigotry, bias. Excellent. So you get nine and 12. Nine and 12 is what, 21? From the black group, hereditary, there's a problem with the spelling, but that's okay. I won't count the spelling. Hereditary, inheritance, chromosomes, DNA, genes, genetics, history, family tree. 
Interesting. Family tree. Okay. War. Violation. Violate. Excellent. Unf unfairly treatment. Who's responsible for this? Where's the black group? Which group is it? It's your group? Yeah. And before the noun, you put the adverb? Is this fair? <laughs> okay. You copied! <laughs> you know Nirvana Azra Akbar Zam? You weren't supposed to copy, my dear. Okay. Uh, superiority, global injustice, very nice to terrorism. What is this? This is from the German school. Yeah, this is from the German, it sounds German. What is this, Nora? Is this how we say it in English? Why didn't you help her, Ahmed? Why didn't you help her, my dear? This is your domain. He's from the German school. Okay, so you have seven, eight, ten. I will be nice and count this one. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I will even count this one. So you have sixteen. From the red group, it seems you're not very happy with gene mapping. DNA, chromosome, genes. Thank you. Gene mapping, genes. Where's the red group? Quality. Quality, not quantity, of course. Gene with genes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Discrimination. Racial segregation. Very nice to four. No. National origin, physical, mental. Physical mental what? Handicap. Mental handicap. Oh, I see physical handicap, men, mental handicap. I should give you two because these are really two. Unfair treatment, good. Sex, ethnic, bias, prejudice, bias, prejudice. I agree, I agree, I am sorry. <laughs> Because we took this word last week. Excellent. We're 27, sorry. You became 27. Okay. 27. And did I add up these? 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. 16. 17? Did you come from? No. 16. <laughs> Last group, blue, DNA, chromosome, genetics, inheritance, hereditary features, very good handwriting, very good spelling, race, gender, segregation, diversity, excellent, tolerance, excellent, discriminating, civil war. What shall I give them two for? Tolerance. Tolerance. For diversity? Tolerance. For tolerance? That's it? Segregation. For seg there was segregation in the first one? Did I give you two for segregation? I gave you two? There was racial segregation, so you gave them two. Then I'll give them two. Thank you, Nirvana. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Three sixteens and one twenty-seven. Where's the twenty-seven group? Wow. Okay. Now. Remember the title of the passage because we're going to start reading now. No, not yet. Sorry. Now you know the title of the passage. Gene mapping. What, what came before Foster? Gene mapping? May foster discrimination. I would like you, please, to think and write down two questions that you think this article will answer. Is the title clear? The link between gene mapping and discrimination. Gene mapping may foster discrimination. Think of two questions that you think this article will answer. And we're going to start reading. Just write down two questions. You may need this. Now be careful when you write questions, please. They have to be 
grammatically correct. I think you're ready with your two questions. Nirvana? Yes? You're writing them? <coughs> you're going to come out and read it. Yeah. You're going to come out and read it. Just Dina, please come. May, would you like to come and read the questions this time? Come, a third yeah. or change one, two. It's enough. It's enough. We only want two because we have to start reading. Come on, May. Uh, first question: uh, How can gene mapping foster discrimination? Uh, second question: What are the dangerous impacts of gene mapping? What do you think? You like them? Yes. Excellent. Next group, Fedi, please come up. Or maybe Yara, Yara, please come up this time. Sorry, Fedi. Marwa, come on, you were coming. Come on. Uh, first question, uh, in what way does in mapping foster discrimination? Uh, second one, how to curb such a phenomenon? Number one is excellent. In what way does gene mapping foster discrimination? Excellent. But think about number two. Think of the grammar in number two, please. Such phenomenon. Do I see a verb? Do you see a verb there? Perfect. Okay, perfect. Are you questions? Okay. Can you correct it? Come on. Excellent. Say it again, Yara. How can we curb such a phenomenon? Okay, thank you. Next group. How can uh, gene mapping foster discrimination? Uh, the second question, um, how will gene mapping affect people's uh, lives? Is there? You want to correct something in number two? Life. Those effects, not effects. Yes, okay. Effect, not effects. How would gene mapping affect? Okay, what else, Dina? Lives. Lives, okay, very good. For, where's the fourth group? Come on, Yusuf. are really similar, right? Very good. Now let's see if the article is going to answer your questions. This is one thing we're looking for because we're going to start reading now. And the second thing is, when we finish, we will do another vocabulary map exercise, like the one we did, all the words related to gene mapping, all the words related to discrimination, and then let's compare, okay? Let's see if you have more words after you've read. Here is the passage. Um, okay, four for this group. Four. Four for you, Yara. Four for you, Nirvana, and Dina, four. Now this, this article comes from a scientific magazine. And as you can see, there are two columns. OK. I want you to look at the top, of the second column on the right. And let's read this. What do we call this? Words between uh, inverted commas. Quote. Excellent. Let's see what this person is saying, because this is our focus now. Without adequate safeguards, the genetic revolution could mean one step forward for science and two steps backward for civil rights. Can you give me another word for adequate? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Safeguards. Safeguards. 
Do you understand what it means? You understand what it means? Great. Without adequate safeguards, limits. if we're not careful, what they did? Limits. limits, OK. Limits so that we remain safe, feeling safe. What did you say? Restrictions. Restrictions, OK, so that, we, so that it's safe. The genetic revolution could mean, now focus on this, one step forward for science and two steps backward for, two for, steps civil, backward rights. for civil rights. This is what I want you to focus on. Now please read in your group and find all the support there is for one step forward for science and all the support for two steps backward for civil rights. Do you get my point? I'm going to give you another transparency for this. Here it is. There's a table there. Remember these tables? You will always have a table in the the reading task. Where is the reading task? Yeah. Dina, as you read, please write down in points, points, phrases, not complete sentences, all the support for it means one step forward for science, two steps backward for civil rights. Okay? What does support remind you of? And why are we reading for support now? The essay. The essay. What did you say, May? The essay. OK. OK, and in your essay, how? How can we support how, our, our ideas? How are you supposed to support your topic sentence and the idea in your body by paragraph? Excellent, excellent. Facts. By giving examples. Facts, facts. Excellent, facts. Exactly. 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 Uh, again, Fezi, sorry? Track the idea to the end. Track the idea to the end, okay. Writing an anecdote. Writing an a anecdote, excellent. Giving statistics. Giving statistics, wonderful. Okay, so now in this reading, there is a lot of support for both sides. Please find it and write it down. Now, what would be a good strategy for you to read as a group? You tell me. Are the four of you going to read the whole text? Yeah. How can, it, how can you do it faster? Uh, some find the reasons for one step forward, and the others, uh, the, there's two steps backward. That's a good idea. Did you hear what Islam said? OK, say it again, Islam. Two of the group uh, search for the, the one step forward for science, and the other two search for the two steps backward for civil rights. OK, that's one way. Any other way? You can read together? Yusuf, Dina, listen to Yusuf. What, Yusuf? One person can read and tell the main idea of the article. Remember, we're not looking for main idea. We're looking for support. 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 We're looking for details to support. So? One person can read. And the other three? <coughs> Wait. Is this what you're saying? OK. One person can uh, search for the word the discrimination and the OK. Fine. I was thinking maybe two, two members of the group can read the first column and then the other two are focusing on the second one and then put your points together. Well, it's up to you. Find the strategy you feel you're comfortable with. Okay. This is the old group. A skill, a reading skill is making what? Not all the information has to be written down. Uh, that's not what I meant now, Karim. You have to read between the lines, right? You have to make I'm waiting for the word. You have to make what? No. No. Say it, Karim. Come on, say it. You have to make inferences. 
Okay. So you have to be able to read between the lines and make inferences. Something that you understood between the lines and that supports the statement. Okay. So not everything is directly stated. Okay, Ahmed? Are you okay? Is he working with you?